Changes in a number of these genes have changed the skin color in human populations from the ancestral condition where large amounts of eumelanin was produced. Some of these changes are specific to Asian populations, such as changes to MCR1, while others are specific to European populations, such as changes in an ion pump uh, controlling the ions in melanosomes. The ancestral human hair color was brown to black. A number of genetic mutations can result in red hair, such as changes to the MSH or MCR1 genes, while other changes can result in blonde hair. These would include mutations in the uh, TRIP homologs of tyrosinase, or of the KIT growth factor affecting melanocyte longevity, or of the ion uh, channel, uh, which affects potassium levels in melanosomes. While there are a number of genes which determine the pigment of the iris of the eye, there are two genes which are primarily involved. The OCA2 gene, which determines the pH of melanosomes and thus the amount of pigment which can be made, and the adjacent HERC2 gene. The gene OCA2 is needed for the trait of brown eyes. Now, this gene requires a transcription factor to be made, which will cause the DNA to unwind to the point where the gene can be activated. This transcription factor binds to the adjacent gene known as HERC2. So if this transcription factor can bind to HERC2, OCA is produced and brown eyes result. However, some changes to the HERC2 gene may mean that the transcription factor cannot bind. If the transcription factor cannot bind, then very little OCA2 is made and blue eyes result. So blue eyes can result not only from changes to the OCA2 gene, but also to the HERC2 gene, which is adjacent to it. 